Hi, welcome to the tutorial for creating RESTful architectural type web services using uh, Rational Application Developer 8.5 and using um, WebSphere Application Server 8.5 Liberty Profile. I have downloaded the trial version of uh, Rational Application Developer and then followed some steps to configure a new server of type uh, liberty profile because uh, this is a prerequisite for creating a um, rest style of uh, web service first change the mode to java ee okay so i have the perspective of java ee um, and now i want to create a web project and name it as uh, I'm going to take it as a simple one and Java EE and I want to put it as a test RS okay you can give any name but for um, representation purpose I use uppercase and RS is what I use for representational web services restful web services Okay, click on next so you you have the Liberty profile that is selected um, uh, year project name you can you can give a new year so it is test RS year okay sorry about that um, change features so now what you need to do is you need to add the JAX RS REST Web Services 1.1 to your project. Okay, I click OK. Now you got the deployment, you got the Java. Uh, you can leave this as is, both the source and the default output. Uh, let's visit back this um, deployment, which is fine. REST Services. You have to make sure that you have the type as JAX RS library and uh, update deployment descriptor JAX RS servlet and make sure that it is IBM RIS servlet as a class names, uh, class name, sorry, and URL pattern as JAX RS star. So because the URL will have JAX RS. Okay next go to the web module you have the test RS web content and also check this generate uh, web.xml okay for that I think we are good here so I'll come back and I'll click finish do you want the perspective yes so fine we we are still in the web perspective if you see that um, okay now if you look at uh, the files you have uh, the web content web.xml you can click try to open it Jax. In the design mode open this mm. okay prior to this what we need is uh, we need a couple of uh, Java files so what we do is we select the folder um, and uh, follow you know the help help contents I think it's already open so if you go to samples um, and web services I think it is tutorials sorry web services okay we are following this particular model so
it will take a while to download so uh, you are going to import the address book uh, tutorial resources so if you are opening your help from the rad you just need to click it here if you are trying it from uh, outside you will get an exception which um, if you try you will come to know so it is a zip file you have the project because I already have the JAX um, JAX RS resources I cannot import this at the moment so I'll click cancel but when you are trying for the very first time um, it will be enabled and you have to click on finish okay for now what I do is I go to this project I have this file what I'm going to do is uh, in my Java resources source I'm going to drag and drop this file okay so uh, I got an exception only because um, this has a package um, so the moment I accept that move this to com.test which is fine and the other one is I need another file so uh, let me pick up from another project as I told before you have these files you know imported automatically so let me copy it and paste it here so I got the address book and the address book application Java files so let's try to open what is inside this so this is all the rest style coding um, you are looking at the addresses thing um, in the URL which you will understand when we run it okay now we have uh, the Java files um, the next step is to update the web end file so let's go to web content web -inf and web.xml try to double click it select the servlet jax rs servlet and click on add and we are going to create a initialization parameter click ok in the name and value enter nothing and go for saving it okay well when you go to the problems it will give a problem a warning precisely it's not an error a warning which says JSR param name should have this so what you do is you click and say quick fix and when you say you have an option create a new or browse select the browse and click finish and you will be challenged with what to take so just click the address book application not the address book and click OK so you got the required values um, and you have no need to save now because it's already saved perfectly now your option is to <coughs> deploy it deploy that application on the server so one option is to right click it add remove and sorry the test ear file and just finish it if you come here the file is deployed started which is good so let's do open a browser um, by clicking on this open web browser and um, let's say you have the URL in format localhost because it is a local server it is a 9080 and ours is test RS and as we told before it will all have the URL pattern of JAX RS and the path is 
addresses. So if we click it, you get all the addresses. Say uh, I want to get the address one, just select that and click go. You get this one. You remove this and say what is that? So you get all the addresses. So now if this is not wrapped, that's why you're getting in one single line. But if you want to find out the one at the zero, which should be Eric, let's give it a try. You get the Eric. And that is it. So this is how you can write a RESTful web services in RAD using um, WebSphere application server 8.5. Thank you.